sometimes um, when you start on a story, you don't know what that overarching narrative is. So last year, I went on a tour with some Chinese tourists to Europe. Um, as we about it. But, and that was an experience that I didn't really know what that was going to be. I mean, I basically, I was curious about the phenomenon of Chinese people going abroad for the first time and seeing the West. And, and so I signed up for this tour, and it was 30, nine Chinese tourists and me on a bus <laughs> in Europe for 10 days. Five countries, 10 days. And um, from the beginning, I realized, I mean, if we're talking about like the technical process of how you write in detail, it's kind of an interesting problem in that case because I knew, just from a storytelling perspective, that the first few days were going to be very important for the story. Because by necessity, when you're telling a story of that kind, you know that the first 24 hours, even the first 20 minutes, is vital. You have to really try to evoke that in the writing. Otherwise, because you can't just, it, it doesn't work if the, if the best thing you've got is day four, because that doesn't get you there. So you really got to make sure you gather all of The problem is on the first day, you don't know anybody's name. You don't know what they're from. You don't know why they're doing things. And so it was this problem. Frankly, it was a little bit like being, um, it was a little bit like, uh, I, I started the trip um, knowing nothing about what I was seeing. I mean, I just watched people interacting. So I was like, okay, that's interesting that this guy, so for instance, one guy named Zhu Zhongmin, when we got to Paris, Zhu Zhongmin was looking around and he was, he was, um, he was the sort of resident philosopher of the group. And he was sort of, we're on a ferry on the Seine and we're going down and he's looking around at the buildings and he's like, you know, there was a point in our history where we were the same as the Europeans. We were all the leading civilizations of the world. And something happened. They pulled ahead for a while. And it was a really interesting observation. I couldn't figure out why was this guy the one making that point. It turned out Zhu Zhongming was the kind of, he was the one who had traveled. He's an accountant. He's a kind of small town, sophisticated. You know, he made some money. And, um, and he was the one who was in a position to be able to evaluate. So other people would kind of defer to him. They come talk. But so for the first couple of days, before I even knew his name, I was just writing down hat man. Like guy in half, <laughs> and he would say, you know, and he was talking about China, U.S. civilization, and I had a lot of those. I was like, you know, little kid with bowl cut, and, um, and it was only later that I found out, you know, his name is Peng Zi. And so you like find all this stuff out, you start to develop the story. But it was really, a, it was, from a storytelling perspective, that was the thing where if I'd done this ten years ago, I wouldn't have known that. I probably would have gone and just had to go like, go like I'd love to meet that guy. Maybe I'll meet him later, and then I'll write down what he said on day one. It doesn't work that way. You get everything. 